Once you reach the end of the right nave, you've reached the center of the cathedral. This is the most sacred part of the cathedral. On the right, you can see the cathedral's imposing tomb of military commander Gian Giacomo de Medici, adorned with colored marble and magnificent bronze statues. In front of the tomb, next to the side entrance, just try not to be impressed by the sight of a statue that looks like something out of a horror movie. It is St. Bartholomew, the saint who was skinned alive and was thus forced to use his shoulders and right hand to hold up the skin that was removed during his martyrdom. And you can see the muscles, bones, and tendons of his body almost out of an anatomy book. Now pause the audio and go look at the two large pipe organs. The organs before you are from the late 16th century, and it won't be easy for you to find paintings more beautiful than those decorating their sides. Now pause the audio again and go to the portals of the sacristy. The bas-reliefs depicted on these portals deserve to be appropriately admired. They are refined Gothic sculptures dating back to the 15th century. Now pause again and go to the large bronze candelabrum in the center of the left transverse arm. From a distance, this huge five-meter-tall candelabrum, known as the Trivoluzio candelabrum, simply seems to be a sacred ornament. But if you look closely, you'll be seriously impressed by the richness of its decorations, which include scenes from the Old Testament, zodiac symbols, images of vices and virtues, and much more. A true masterpiece of medieval goldsmiths. Fun fact, the organ of Milan's cathedral is the largest in Italy and has an amazing 15,600 pipes. And with this, we have finished our tour of Milan's cathedral and its surroundings. My Wo Wo thanks you for staying with us, and we'll see you at the next Wonder of the World. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da